Hey, Stephen. Thanks for doing this, man. Uh, just wondering for you, last start of the season, what did you like about uh, your stuff today, and, and how do you feel you closed out your year, your personal year? Yeah, I felt felt good about my stuff today. You know, um, it's just really the name of the game for me all year. It's been fastball changeup and working off that stuff. And today I had the curveball going as well. And you know, Jano called an amazing game. Me and him are on the same page. And so, uh, you know, it's good to get a win and uh, an important game, important series. So, uh, you know, it was a good end to the regular season. And just in terms of emotions, uh, pitching a game like this, obviously you mentioned it's an important game. For you taking the mound, what did that feel like knowing the stakes? Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's kind of what you want to feel. Um, you know, going to this time of year, it's October 1st. You want to be pitching important games. And so uh, it's a good feeling. You know, you definitely, you know, the crowd is awesome here. Um, you know, so you got definitely a little extra adrenaline boost. Uh, but it's exciting. We're playing important games in October. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Thanks, Steve. Go ahead, Keegan. Hey, Steve. Some you had your playoff experience as a rookie back in, and has that given you a different appreciation or more appreciation for how rare these opportunities are, and and how you interact with it now? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, my first year, you know, I kind of got thrown into the mix there. We made the postseason right away, and now you know, haven't been back. You know, played a wild card in sixteen, but then haven't been back. And you know, looking at this team, I'm like, man, this team is so good, and. You know, uh, you, you just we're, we're so close. And, uh, yeah, it's, you realize that, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be on a team this good. This this is a really good group. What stands out to you most when you say a team this good? What is the, the thing that makes you think this is special, this is better than anything I might be a part of? I mean, we got a potential Cy Young, a potential MVP, um, and then just go down the list, you know. And so – I think those two things speak for themselves. But, uh, you know, this team is really deep, and just seeing these guys go out and play every day has been a pleasure. I thank you. Go ahead, Mitch. Hey, Stephen, thanks for the time. Uh, when you just look at how your season's gone today, this could be your last start of the regular season, how do you think you kind of most improved as the season went on? Uh, I think just consistency, making pitches when I had to. Um, Stuff like that is just the, the consistency is uh, is big for me. You know, throughout my career, I've been a little inconsistent, but you know, especially the second half, I've kind of found a groove and, and found some consistency to make big pitches when I needed to. Uh, so, and then how did it kind of feel to get that ovation from the crowd walking off and get that jacket at the end there? Yeah, that was that was awesome. You know, the crowd here is has been awesome, especially with uh, the more people in here. is definitely a little louder today, so it was uh, fun. Thanks, Stephen. Go ahead, Caitlin. Hey, Stephen. Thanks for your time. I'm just wanting to ask, what did you make of Jordan's performance getting the five-out save for you guys? Yeah, that was awesome. He's been nails for us all year. And, uh, you know, for him to come in and get those five outs, um, you know, he looked just as sharp uh, coming back out there. And so, you know, he's he's awesome. And so it was, it was cool. I know you're um, big on – scoreboard watching a little bit will you stay up for the Mariners game tonight <laughs> uh, that's a good question I don't know uh, definitely my adrenaline's still pumping a little bit so I may not be able to sleep so might as well uh, tune in great thank you Steven go ahead Mike hey Steven I, I know this is obviously you know come down to the last weekend it's about team and nothing but team and personal goals don't matter but you're the first 14 game winner on this team in five years um, does that does that mean anything to you? Uh, you know, I haven't had time to reflect on that. I didn't know that stat until you said it. And so, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. You know, coming off such a terrible year last year, uh, Blue Jays giving me a chance and believing in me. Uh, you know, I think that feels pretty good. Hey, Charlie, on uh, Stephen Match with what he gave you in a game of this magnitude today. Uh, what did you see from him in, in terms of finishing up a, a season? Well, I mean, I knew he was on from the beginning, but you guys have to remember he, he usually go just six innings, you know, and but so it was two nothing the whole time, right? So now you get to the sixth 
inning, and now he's facing the lineup third time around, a pretty good top of the lineup that they have. The hit left is pretty good, and now you're thinking, okay, well, what should we do? But he kept getting people out, and now he comes to seventh inning. Same thing, all right, let's give him one hitter, two hitters. He kept doing the same thing. He was outstanding. He was probably the main reason we won this game, and, of course, Romano coming out and for five outs. But, uh, yeah, Matt's was the key. He gave us enough innings, and, and with no room for error. It was only two nothing, and 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 that lineup's got power, so anything could happen anytime. When you look at Matt's full season, you, even going back to the trade, Charlie, and when spring training opened, what have you learned about him, and, and what has he shown you that uh, maybe you didn't know before you managed him? So he's been one of the unsung hitters here. Like nobody expected for him to pitch like that, and and of course credit to him, and to Pete Walker and working with Pete and and everything. He, he's been great. I mean, almost every time out, he goes five, six innings and, and keeps us in the game. He's been he's been really good. He's been he's been great, actually. Not good, great. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Shai. Hey, Charlie. Uh, I'm just wondering when that eighth inning started. Was your plan all along that if there was any sort of trouble? that you would go to Romano uh, as your next guy? Or was that just how the inning developed that you thought, okay, we need Romano right here? Yeah, so 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 that's one thing about Manning. You're thinking of all kinds of stuff. So uh, we knew, all right, well, we have Simber on the mound. So you figure, okay, there's right-handers coming. He should be able, because he's done it all year, to get him out. But if he gets in trouble, I mean, this is, this is the season. You know, I might use Romano for five outs tonight because he's fresh, you know, and, and turned out to – that's what happened. You know, and 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 Jordan does what Jordan does. He 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 got it out and 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 got the last five outs, and which was not easy. You got to give their line of credit, making him work. He he was outstanding. And when it, when he went back in the ninth, we were thinking, okay, he's got a lot of pitches. But the moment I make the call for the five outs, that's his game. You know, that's his game. He, he's got it. You know, and 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 he did. We almost thought about it for a minute, and he said, "Man, I got it." All right, you do. <laughs> You're going back. <laughs> so he told you, like, I'm good with pitch counts? You, like, or Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I knew that, but, I mean, if he says something, I don't feel great or something, I'll, I'll take him out, which I knew he wasn't going to say that. But, yeah, and he said, he said I got it, which he was – it's music to, a, to you know, to a manager's ears when the guy said, oh, man, I got it. Let me finish it. Well, you do, you know. And it, what makes it more special that he's from Canada – it, it does. It really does to me, you know, that 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 he is the kid that's closing all these games. To me, that 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 means a lot. So he, he could have thrown. If if the last guy would have got that on, he was going to face Mullins. I wasn't going to take him out. It was his game. That's his game, and he did it. Um, and you had mentioned, you, you know, you haven't seen Biggio in a while, obviously, and sort of not 100 percent sure. I'm just wondering. Can if you could compare how he looked today, or what you liked about the way he looked today, to maybe the way he was swinging the bat when he went on the IL back in August? So I, I have never lost confidence on Vizio. The one thing that he did that people don't know, he played hurt the whole year. So when you play hurt, people don't don't really know that. You know, he he had a tough neck, back, and he kept playing. And, and I appreciate guys like that. Of course, he got to a point like, okay, you got to go for a rehab and try to get it going because now you've lost too much too much time, but. Matt, of course, Romano and and Biggio, they were the game and the bottom of the lineup. But I mean that the the, the plays that he makes at first and 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 the big hits, he was key. And our third base coach that people know no nobody ever talks about third base coaches. Those sands were huge in this game, of course. Luis Rivera. Thanks, <laughs> you guys know him, just in case. <laughs> Go ahead, Caleb. <laughs> Um, hey, Charlie. Uh, yeah, speaking of the bottom of the order, I mean, you can go down your lineup and everyone in this lineup has had, you know, a game here or there where they've really performed well. And today it was really the bottom of the order. I mean, what does it do to your offense when they're they're carrying the offense for a game? That, that's how you win games. And that's how you almost uh, win 90 games or whatever we got, because that's that's got to happen. There's no way that the top of the lineup can carry you all the time. And that's the things that have been happening the last this last month for sure. Lourdes Gurriel in the, hitting the seventh spot and, and stuff like that. And today it was it was it was Espinol, Biggio, and Jensen. And of course Corey Dickens in the six. I just don't call that the top the, the <laughs> bottom, but seven, eight, nine were outstanding. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Mitch. 
Hey, Charlie, thanks for the time. Uh, a few times this year, I think with Ray at Down Mass today, the starting pitcher has got given the, the jacket. Uh, I was just wondering, do you know who makes that call to give it to the pitcher? I think it's, it's, everybody feels it because they know what he just did in a, in a game like that. So that that's what comes out. That we we don't plan that. It just it just comes out like that. And it was it was beautiful because he earned that jacket today, just like Ray has in the past. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Charlie. Uh, who's the third base coach again? Yeah, Luis Rivera. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. <laughs> uh, I was just just wondering what what have you seen out of Danny lately, Jansen? Good at bats. He since he came back from from the minor leagues from from his rehab, he, he he looks really good at the plate. Like I feel good anytime he's at the plate. Like he's got a chance to do something. His approach is outstanding. That was the best thing for him to happen to go down and work on his hitting and everything. And he looks really good right now. And never mind his catching. We all know he's really good. But now with that offense, he's he's, he's making himself a pretty good catcher overall. And just wondering, the last couple of times you've made that outfield switch late it's been Dyson straight up into left field but today you put him in center and moved Springer to right why tonight because we worked on it and we figured out Springer have done it a lot of times in, in Houston he usually uh, goes to right and, and the other center field goes to center so that's what we did like that today make sure that they took fly balls on, on their spots and and that makes our, our outfield even better not that Springer is bad but Dyson it's really good okay thanks you're welcome. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. All right, guys. <laughs>